Hello everyone. This video shows how to build a spool that conveniently stores and dispenses over 3,400 Zen magnets. Two challenges of Zen magnets are, number one, how to store magnets conveniently between projects, and number two, how to dispense them while building a project. Most projects are built using a single strand chain, which can inadvertently stick to itself or to the project during construction unless it's wound up in some way. Storing magnets in hexagonal form requires extra effort to put the magnets into this form for storage and extra effort to pull these hexagons into a chain for the next project. A spirally wound freestanding cylinder of magnets works well for storage and works reasonably well during construction but becomes unwieldy for large numbers of magnets. The best solution in my experience is a magnet spool. It's quick to wind a chain spirally onto a spool and effortless to pull the chain from the spool during construction. This video shows how to build a magnet spool that provides a convenient, effectively infinite chain of magnets of known polarity. The spool is a mailing tube of outer diameter 3 inches, cut to a length of 12 inches, including end caps. It is covered with a single thickness of poster paper that is held in place with clear tape. With this extra thickness, the tube circumference closely matches the circumference of windings of Zen magnets around the tube. Holes of diameter 3 eighths of an inch are drilled in the centers of the plastic end caps through which a copper rod of length 12 inches and diameter 3 eighths inches passes. Lengths of rubber weather stripping are measured to fit around the tube. The ends are glued using flexible vinyl adhesive to form rings that are attached to the ends of the tube. These rings confine the magnets to the tube and provide a grippy surface that can be used with your hands to turn the tube. The stand is made from 1 inch by 4 inch pine, actual dimensions 3 quarters of an inch by 3 and a half inches, cut into three pieces, 
two end pieces of length three and a half inches with the top corners cut away to improve accessibility to the magnets and a base piece of length 12 and 1 16th of an inch. Holes are drilled a distance of 5 16ths of an inch from the tops of the end pieces through which two screws pass to support the copper rod. The holes in the end pieces are countersunk to accommodate the screw heads. The two end pieces are glued and nailed to the base piece and the stand is routed, sanded and finished with three coats of clear lacquer. A 2 inch by 6 inch piece of poster paper is formed into a card holder which is glued onto one end of the stand using super glue. A 13 and a quarter inch by 3 and a quarter inch piece of non-slip rug pad is glued to the base to prevent the spool from slipping during use. Three magnets of known polarity are glued to one end of each spool using steel reinforced epoxy to ensure that the magnet chains that are taken from all of the spools have the same polarity. Chains that are wound around the spool always start from the same end of these three fixed magnets, which enables counting of magnets by marking the spool with per a permanent marker every 100 magnets. And this is it. 
a magnet spool that holds over 3,400 magnets. <laughs>